I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He really got a hold of that kick. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Red two, blue four. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 21-yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Heading for the corner. Stone fields it at the 27. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. after a decent pickup. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. That brings him second and five. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. That's a game of two. made around the 48 yard line the running back gets the first you like how the offense is playing intelligent controlled football here using the safe run to get the first they come out in an empty backfield he steps out at the 48 yard line Fires out to his wideout. Knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He scrambled. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. And he's tackled at the 13. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. He's knocked out of bounds at the six-yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Players in there, got it, touchdown. So he was able to connect with a tight end for the score. Yeah, they did a nice job inside the red zone of mixing up the play calling. That touchdown obviously fooled the defense. And he adds the extra point. 
A 10 play, 61 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. SMU's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. He makes it to the 18-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And down he goes at the 22. Robinson on the tackle at the 22-yard line. Fourth down. He's tackled at the 47 yard line. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Second down and 17 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. SMU is up a score. Complete. He's got room. And he hits him hard at the 48. Vincent on the tackle at the 48-yard line. That'll make it 39. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. That makes it open. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Roberts is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. SMU's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Around the 41 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings them second and five. quickly and he's got his man he gets hit out of bounds at the 38 yard line oh we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter seven nothing mustang welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter
no game on the play. That makes it second and ten. They come out in a five-wide set. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of score on the play. That brings up third and fourteen. From the 42-yard line, it's third down. Gets it out in a hurry. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. After, After review of the play, play, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. From the 22-yard line, first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Smith picks up about seven yards on the run. And he's taken down around the 13-yard line. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third That's down. when you don't want those kind of things to happen. From the 18-yard line, third down. Middle pass, the tight end holds it in for the score. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 54 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And he's level at the 28-yard line. Here's an opening. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. He's going to try and scramble. Good tackle there in space. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 26-yard line, first down. Mike 17, Mike 17. 
Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 19-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Scrambling around, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Third down again. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And he's going to come up with a sack. Kicks away, and it's good! <laughs> SMU lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Up the middle. Nice run there. Texas State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The Mustangs lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Try to change the field position with his kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. For Texas State, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. Good pass rush by these guys today. These guys on defense are trying hard, but still trailing. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. SMU has a three-point lead. Watched out, and he's going to get sacked. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. 10-7, Mustang. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. SMU is up a field goal. Makes it out to about the 36. Throws it deep. This one will fall incomplete. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Makes it out to about the 46. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. That's a team of one on the ball. That makes it second and eight. Quick out to his receiver. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Complete, brought down, up and doing. SMU is up by three. Tackle around the 24 yard line. From the 24 yard line, it's first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. There he goes. Inside the 10. Touchdown, SMU. Well-designed play to get the halfback into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. 
They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Number 24 was the intended receiver. From their own 22-yard line, second down. after a decent run up the gut. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 30. Great execution on that option play, and they get a big gainer on third down. They can rip holes in a defense. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 22. And he's hit immediately. yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Makes the catch and look out. And down he goes at the eight yard line. Johnson's in the tackle at the eight yard line. Third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Roger, Roger! Mike's 50, Mike's 50! He's <laughs> out! Got an opening! Touchdown, Bobcats! He kept it himself and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight-play, 77-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 17-14. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. The Bobcats have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he carries the ball for a nice game. SMU holds a field goal lead. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. He guns it to the left. It's complete. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. And he adds the extra point. 
looks good. good. With a three play 76 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. Boy that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Scott has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Up the middle for a nice game. They come out on an empty backfield. He might have a chance. He makes his way to about the 38. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Steps out of bounds at the 40-yard line. They come out in a five wide set. He's tackled around the 49 yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. He's taken down at the 42. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. That's the end of three quarters to play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. 24-14, SMU. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Five wide. Pulls in the pass and steps out. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Scrambling around. And they got it. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Across the middle. Picked off from the deflection. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. They line up at the 10. First down. In the shotgun and five wide out. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's a deep five on the play. That brings him second and five. Wants to go long and does. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. Morris makes the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. Check, 
Brought down at the 37. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Looking for his man, incomplete. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. Makes it to the 24. Game of 14 on the way. That makes it first and 10. The halfback with a the carry. They go to the left for a nice game. Game of six yards. That brings him second and five. He makes it to the 18-yard line. No game. That'll bring up third and four. Hit before it can go anywhere. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. Just under three to go in regulation. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Here's the 11th play of the drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25-yard line. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And he's tackled at the 41. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And a quick throw. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Offense lines up in a five wide set, and a defense anticipating pass here. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Flicked his wrist and made the connection to his wide receiver. It looked to me that the defense was more worried about the quarterback scrambling, and that's why they just gave up that touchdown. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. So a five-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking team. team. So the offense will take over with pretty good field position. The onside Still kick just ahead. wasn't successful there. The kicker really didn't give his guys a chance to make a play. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Williams gains about four yards on the play. From the 40-yard line, second down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The Bobcats use their second timeout. Just under two minutes in the game. Tackle at the 33. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain and a first down. Texas State will use their final timeout. Takes it left side and he's brought down in the backfield. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. James gets the call again. He fights forward to about the 33. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. The offensive guns were ablaze all day, and it came down to who had one more shot. 31-21, Mustang. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.